Here we have a 2014 Mercedes-Benz A180 AMG Sport CDI 5-door hatchback in white. Starting with the offside front tyre. Tread depth there, we're looking at about 3mm in the centre of the tyre. Look at these lovely AMG um, Sport alloys, black with the outside polished finish. Looking around condition wise, there's a little bit of a light curve mark towards the bottom of the alloy there. Around the rest of the alloy is very clean and tidy. So lovely condition there. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, taking a good look down the bodywork, I personally cannot see any dinks or dents at all down there. Around the um, offside front archery, that's a nice condition. Driver's mirror, also very tidy. Dri driver's door itself, one or two very minor little touchings down the door edge there, it's just literally two. Scratch wise, again, the white does hide it very well, so personally there's a couple of light scratches on the door handle that could need a polish. Sills are good, you've got the rear privacy glass on there as well. And rear passenger door again, a couple of light scratches need a bit of a polish. Door edge is tidy there. Rear arch and rear quarter, nothing at all to report there, looks lovely. Rear tyre, easily a good 6mm of tread there, looks like a fairly new tyre. Looking on at the rear alloy on the offside, taking a good look at the condition. Uh, as you can see, got a bit of corrosion starting to appear on the alloy there. Also, some scuffs on some of the uh, spokes. So, a potential refurb, but not in bad condition at all, really. I'm moving towards the rear end of the vehicle. Looking on the rear bumper, again, no sign of any damage at all there. Everything appears to be in good order. A couple of light scratches on the back do require a bit of a polish, but apart from that, it's all in good order. Inside the boot, you've got your parcel shelf. As you can see, everything is how it should be. Uh, no sign of any spare wheel though in the back. And moving round to the near side rear tyre. Again, we're looking at a good 6mm of tread on the near side rear. Looking on the uh, the rear uh, tyre though, as you can see, it is split. Um, you've got a bit of a split in the tyre there, as you can see on the video. So a bit of a split, so just be wary of that. Bit of curbing on this rear alloy as well and uh, some corrosion, so some curbing and some scuff marks to some of these spokes, so refurb required there. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, no sign of any dinks or dents. Scratch on the rear arch there. Can't really get my nail into that, so it should polish out. Apart from that, looks fairly clean, door edge is good. Again, just a bit of a polish on both the doors. Front mirror is fine, front arch is all good, and the front tire about three millimeters of tread. Again, it's a bit of a split in the tyre there from where it's had this curb mark. So again, to be wary of that, a bit of curbing around this alloy, so again, will require a refurb. Moving around to the front end of the vehicle, a couple of stone chips on the front bumpers, all I can really see on this side. Bonnet's very clean. Moving around to the front quarters, you can see there is a scuff mark on the low bit there, so that's going to require smart repair. It's also going to require smart repair there as well, so just be wary of the offside front quarter. Interior wise, with the lovely um, sort of Alcantara and leather with the red stitching, uh, you get that with the AMG Sport. Lovely condition, looks as good as new in the back. Back of the seats are all in nice condition as well. Real nice looking interior. Looking at your driver's seat, again looks brilliant. Lovely uh, condition, looks as good as new, just like the back. Front passenger seat again, looking really tidy. Dashboard, you got a sort of carbon fibre effect with the screen there. Um, real nice and tidy, steering wheel looks as good as new there as well, automatic lights but real nice condition throughout. Inside the vehicle, now we have got two sets of keys with the car as we can see just here, so two keys. Mileage wise we'll get 17,587 there on the clock. Starting the vehicle, as you can see no issues at all there, no symbols at all appearing on the dash either. Um, again, the car runs exactly how it should do. Looking at your documents, uh, V5 has been sent off um, to the DVLA. It's had two owners and it will be gone on FY64CYC. MOT, obviously, will be the 10th of the 10th, 2017. And service history is a non franchise stamp here done at 13,000 miles. Uh, as you can see, at a non franchise garage. Um, it has had its, its service that it does require. Apart from that, all the blowers do work perfectly fine. Um, you do get the screen here, uh, there's no navigation, uh, there is a button there for nav, but it doesn't have navigation. Radio works perfectly fine, so it's all in a good working order there. Lovely looking car inside, really clean, probably wouldn't even require a bit of valet. Um, exterior just needs um, a couple of wheel refurbs and that uh, offside front needs a smart repair, but a lovely looking car.